Hi guys. I think you're, I think we're just getting on. Let me just kind of check and see here on Facebook. I think Instagram we're live. I'm going to give people a few seconds to join on. Hi Mary. Hi Dorothy. It's chilly tonight. I had to put my sweats on. I'm out here in my screen porch, but I have like my, my Puda socks and my cozies on tonight because it's a little chilly. Sorry I was running a little bit late, but I decided that it was really important that I get a glass of wine. So I hope you have one too. <laughs> hey Maddie. I'm going to just give it a few more minutes, you guys, just to let people join in. I hope you're having a good end to your week. It was a busy week for all, I think, for, for my kids. Um, today was the last day of school. I was so happy that it's just kind of wrapping up and, and um, having that be over. Honestly, I'm ready for summer. So I'm just going to kind of check on Facebook here too. So I can read over here for Instagram, but over here for Facebook. So bear with me. All right. I can't see any comments on Facebook. So let me just see. So if you guys can just comment and let me know that you're here up. Oh, Gracie Biron is on, so that's good. I see lots of people joining, but I'm just not, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Hold on, I have a tickle in my throat. I better get my wine. Okay, here's some more people. Hi, I see lots of people waving. Thank you. I hope you guys are all doing okay tonight. It's a little chillier tonight for sure. All right, well, I think we're gonna get cracking so that I don't hold up too much of your time. Hi, Cheryl, there we go. There's some people on Facebook saying hello. Hi, Cheryl, I hope you had a nice week. I was just saying that it's a little chilly here in East Aurora tonight, so I put on my cozy sweatshirts and my sweatpants and my, my Puda socks and I'm all, and I had to get a glass of wine, so that's why we were starting a little bit late. I kinda like these lives with uh, doing it at the house. It's sort of, sort of fun to have you guys all over. I'm here on my screen porch tonight and uh, this is one of my favorite places to come and, and just kind of relax. And I have a little herb garden down here. I'll have to do a tour of it so you guys can see what it's all about. But it's one of my most favorite places to come and just relax. I have some of my favorite books. I do my best thinking out here. And I figured, you know what, I wanted to just, I know we were out here last time, but I really enjoyed it. And, the, and I thought maybe that we would do it again. So I hope that's okay. All right, well, I wanna dive right in. I have some fun things to cover tonight, some of my favorite tips and tricks, from makeup to inside of your body to out, we're gonna cover, so it'll be a good night. So I hope that you um, have a little glass of wine. Oh, Cheryl, you just got your order. Hi, Marie, good to, thanks for jumping on. I'm glad you guys are commenting over there because I can't see, on Facebook, I can't see who's on. Um, so if you comment, then I'll be able to say hi. But I love this intimate setting with you guys that, um, if you know me, I love that. Like I love cozy, I love being home, and I love you know, being in my sweats, and I love, um, I love having the people that I love most over. So it's kind of like having my very favorite people over. So it's kind of nice. I made notes, that's right, I made notes because I wanted to make sure I covered everything because last time I didn't get to cover everything. All right, we're going to start tonight with eyelash curlers. Real world topics, right? Eyelash curlers. Okay, so I typically normally, before quarantine anyways, I had eyelash extensions. Um, and I loved them. I'm not gonna lie. I totally loved them. But I will tell you that, and I was very, very careful about who I went to. So my eyelashes really weren't that badly damaged. Um, they really weren't. It really matters who you're going to. Um, and I can post some of the people that I go, went to that really did a great job. Um, but I have been using um, like some eyelash serums. I've been taking a little extra collagen, doing some things, and I switched up to a different mascara. It's unfortunately, it's not a beauty counter one. I'll have to, I'll have to shoot, do a whole tutorial on that. It's a whole, whole thing. But um, I've been trying a couple different ones and I really think I've got it down and I'm really liking the way my lashes are looking, <clears throat> which is really weird for me because I typically do not. Um, but the one of the things that has been tried and true for me 
is my eyelash curler. And I know you could probably say, first of all, I get all the time, I'm so scared of eyelash curlers. Don't be scared of eyelash curlers, you guys. It will not pull unless you clamp and pull. You're not gonna pull your eyelashes out as long as you're gentle with it. Um, and it's worth it to invest in a little bit more. I have tried a million over the days. Mac, I've tried um, Tweezer Man, I've tried you know, ones that you just buy from the grocery store, etc. This one is my favorite brand. This one is called Kevin Aquan. I found it on Amazon for $17. Ulta, I think it was like 21. So it definitely is a little bit more than the ones that you can just grab at CVS or something. Why I like it is there's a few different reasons. First of all, the finger holes, and this is ridiculous, but truly it matters. The finger holes, you really fit your fingers in there. So it's not like I have huge hands or something, but I really feel like I have good control, which is what I like about that. Okay. The other thing I like about it is that this one in particular opens up really, really wide. So if you can see, this one opens up wider than other eyelash curlers. And why that's important is because the way I'm going to teach you to curl your eyelash is you're going to do it once and you're going to do it again. And when you do that, you need your eyelash, once they're curled, you need it to open wide so you're not getting that crimpies on the ends. Okay. The other thing I really like about this one is the shape of it. I hope you guys can see that up there. It's really a nice rounded shape on it. And what's good about that is that you're really going to get close to your lash line without getting that weird kink in the middle. Okay. So those are some of the reasons why that's really works great. Now, when you go on your lashes, what I do first is always start with clean, dry lashes. Important keyword there is dry. If your lashes have any sort of moisture from any of your face creams or anything like that, or you just washed your face, they won't curl well. So this is going to be at the end of your routine that you want to do curl your lashes because you want them to be really, really dry. Okay. And that's how I do it. And I feel like it works best is I warm up my eyelash curler first. So my hot water in my bathroom is pretty warm. Um, so I just keep it going in there and, um, okay, Stacy, I am seeing what you're saying there. I don't know what that means exactly. Maybe my IT girls can take a look at that. I want to make sure that she's on. I'm getting like requests to join your live. So I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, so anyways, you're going to want to warm it up under hot water. Now, obviously use intelligence when you're doing this. You don't want it to be scalding or burn your eyelashes, but you want to warm the rubber up. Okay. And this one in particular has a really great spring. So you push and it bounces back at you. So that's great because you're going to have that really pretty curl. So I start as close to my, um, at the base of my lash as I can. I hold it down on the lashes after I've warmed it up a little bit, obviously not scalding. And then I bounce it, bounce, 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 bounce on the, on the very, very base of my lashes. Then I work out along the lash. So I go base, move up a little bit, crimp, 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 crimp. And what that does is you will get a nice pretty curl as opposed to that weird when you see women and they're like this. You don't want your lashes to look like that. You want them to be a nice pretty curl. So and then I like my lashes really, really curled, especially on my left eye because my left eye is a little smaller than my right. So I try to counterbalance that a little bit. So I for sure always do my left eye again. And I start at the base, hold, and then bum, 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 bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, and then work along my lashes, bounce, 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 all the way to the tip. And then you're gonna also get that very pretty curl. So those are some great options. This one is, Kev, like I said, it's called Kevin Aquan. It's a brand. He's a makeup um, developer. And I just feel like his eyelash curler is the very best one. Like I said, I found it on Amazon, $17. Um, Grace is going to make sure that she puts things in the comments and so that you have the name so that you can look. Um, you know, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I'm just telling you what I like. And also, always keep in mind, I'm not an esthetician. So I'm just telling you what has worked for me and what I like. But obviously, make sure you check with your with your doctors if there's anything or whatever. But I'm pretty sure you can get away with an eyelash curler. So love, love, love that. All right. Like I said, I was a little late going on today because I poured myself a little glass of wine. So, okay. 
So that's my eyelash curlers, and that's how I do that. Warm them up. You're going to have a lot better results. Okay. The next thing I wanted to talk about is for your mind. We all know that internal beauty comes from the inside out. I always preach that to my girls. You have to, the most beautiful women are the women who are happy, right? One of the things about myself, I am not a happy, nice person if I do not get some good sleep. In fact, early on, when I was a, when I was a teenager, my dad said to Marty before we got married, I can, if I can give you any advice, make sure she gets her sleep, at, at least eight hours of sleep. And I am, I'm still like that. I really need my sleep. And I really, especially during Corona, I really found my mind to race. And I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing that or not or what, but I've really found that my mind was just kind of, I couldn't settle it down. Um, and I had this app on my phone. I've used it in the past. I always use it during Christmas time. That's something, um, to really just it really is something that I really struggle with but to have my mind racing but what I find is that um, I love this app and it helps me fall asleep so the app that I use is called um, relaxation melodies and what's great about that is the why I like that one is not just like you press it and it's like a sound machine where you just have like rain or snow like gently falling rapids or something like that you can customize it and make it your own so for the free part of the app you can have different sounds so like I'll do sometimes I like to listen to the ocean with like a little bit of flutes or harp or whatever there's a million different things and I love 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 that it is calming me down and there's also on there, there's a couple free ones, and if you do the upgrade, you, then you can get all of them, which I did the upgrade only because they also had, for my kids, kids relax melodies, which were meditations to calm their mind. So there's one for, for if you're having anxiety about homework, or if you're having anxiety about big projects or things like that, or helping you fall asleep. And I make my girls listen to them at horse shows because they're on key point, they're trying to be focused, they're trying to perform, and then either they come down when they get back to the hotel room and their minds are racing and their, their hearts are, are pounding and things like that from, from all the excitement, and they have a hard time relaxing in a hotel. So it's my go-to, and I hope that maybe that'll help you let your minds relax a little bit relaxation melodies adjust and play and have some fun with all the different things that you can listen to and I think it really really is is helpful so that's why I wanted to share that one with you tonight I also really like there's different meditations that I find that I use pretty frequently there's one that's called like the body scan so you'll start at your toes and work your butt way up and it'll talk about you know like relaxing your feet and relaxing your ankles and, and goes through all your body parts and it is truly rare that I get to the top of my head and I'm not and I remember it and I fall asleep the other key thing that I will tell you about it is I set the timer there's a timer in built into it and so I just set it for 30 minutes so that it shuts off because I don't like listening to it all night um, but you can listen to it all night if you choose so those are that's just one of my tips that I really love and I feel like if you're well rested your body does its very best healing and you're you're reproducing all of the things that you've lost hopefully without in your day and you're repairing your skin and you're skin, repairing your body and you're letting yourself in your mind rest and i think that's so important to being at your top performance for whatever you do um for the following day so that's my that's my one beauty tip my app that i'm sharing this week okay next up ugh, i gotta reach for it is this i have been using this for I would say a little over a year so I I decided to dye my hair like really really blonde I had really long hair and then I decided to dye my hair really really blonde and I of course go to a, I was going to a really great hairdresser and he was like okay we gotta go slow and I was like absolutely not we gotta have it blonde by tomorrow Michael Salon. He was like, Michael, do not do that. He said, do not do that. I was like, I know, but I really, really want to do that. And he's like, oh no. Well, of course it fried my hair. And you know, I, my hair was really, really damaged. 
And at that time, when I'm, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to cut off all my hair and whatever. And then I went to Jess. Um, I, I'll put, post all of this so you, that you guys know. But then I went to somebody for um, hair extensions because I had to cut all my hair off. And it was really, really fried and really, really damaged. And so I had hair extensions put in for a while, um, little bead ones so that it didn't damage my hair and it could kind of grow out. And then um, right before quarantine, luckily, I took them out. I was like, okay, I'm like liking kind of the short and sassy look. You know, for some reason, I don't know, you get weird things in your mind as a woman. And I was like, I don't know that I feel sexy with short hair. And I, it was like something I couldn't get over. And I don't know why. But then I was like, actually, I really feel sexy with my hair like this now. So I took them out. But I wanted to improve my overall hair health, nail health, skin health. And I was feeling really depleted in all of those things. And, I, and so what I learned is that as you age, collagen production, you're not producing what you were producing. You know, so when I look at my girls and they have this like glowing, beautiful skin and they don't do anything to it except wash their faces, I'm like, okay, wait, what did I get? What have I been doing wrong? Well, my collagen production isn't quite the same as it used to be. But good news is, is you can put it back into your system. So when I did this to all my hair and I was like, I want to do every miracle cr cream and thing that I can do. And I was like massaging all this stuff into my scalp to make my hair grow and craziness. I know, but this is us women, right? We do this crazy stuff. One of my girlfriends said, one of my beauty counter mentors actually, Molly, was like, you got to get yourself some collagen peptides. And I was like, what is that? I don't like chalky, weird, well, I don't want that. She's like, no, I'm telling you, you won't even taste it. I scoop it into my coffee. I mix it into like when I'm baking sometimes and the kids don't know and it's really been a lifesaver. So I was like, okay, again, Amazon, I ordered it. Here, I'm a small business and I'm telling you to order things off Amazon, but certain things I can't carry. And this is one. Okay, now I don't know all the different brands out there. This is the one she shared with me. This is the one that's worked for me. So it's the Vitel, Pro, Vitel Proteins, this one. And what I love about it is I don't know it's there. So every morning when I make my coffee, I have a Krug. I put my little pot in. I scoop a scoop of this in there. I put my coffee in. I put my creamer in. I mix it up really, really good. I have like one of those handheld zhuzhers. I don't know what they're really technically called, but it froths it all up. And it's lovely. It's like you don't even know it's in there. It's not chalky. It's not, it's tasteless. It's odorless. It doesn't get like gritty in your mouth or anything like that. It just dissolves. And I have truly noticed a difference in my nails and my hair and in my skin rebuilding. So I really, really love that. Um, so this is what I get and I'll, I'll share the link that I do. It's, I think this is around 40 bucks. So it's a little bit more of an investment. But one scoop, and so I think probably, I'm going to say three months I get out of a jar like this. But for the girls that are like, I'm not, my eyelashes aren't growing, my eyebrows aren't growing, my hair isn't growing, my nail health isn't great, my skin doesn't feel glowy, honestly, start with your internals. And we'll, as we go, I'll, <clears throat> you know, I can't share it all in one night, but I will share some of the things that have really worked for me. And I'm not a really super religious persons about things, but this has been a really nice addition. So you can get that again. If you can get that on Amazon. That's what it looks like. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and I haven't really experimented with all of the different ones from this company, but this one in particular, I really like, and it's just what I continue to go to. All right. <clears throat> I need a little sip of wine. I hope you're doing the same. I'm trying to see who's on there. Okay. So we talked about eyelash killers. We talked about um, our, my collagen peptides. We talked about my favorite app. All right, next I want to show you, and again, this is uh, like little silly things, but I wanted to share with you guys. I think I shared with you last time that I have melasma. And so when I was pregnant, mostly when I was pregnant with Ashley, my, I got like blotchiness on my skin. And I was like, what is this? And it was kind of like a pregnancy mask, but more solid ish and darker. So I have a spot over here. I have a spot over here and I have, I used to have a very strong spot over my lip, which was like horrible. Cause it always, I always felt self-conscious that it looked like a mustache. Um, but that's really lightened up with, I, I told you my like miracle thing with that is I love the peel, the overnight resurfacing peel. 
last time. But the biggest thing when you're talking about melasma is you have to protect your skin from the sun. And you should be doing that anyway. There's so many good self tanners and good things and bronzers and things like that. You really, really should not be getting sun on your face at this point. You should know better. So one of the things, this is goofy, but again, I love to sit in my back patio and have my coffee in the morning. And the thing with that is, is why I love it is because I get the morning sun. But the negative with that is, is that I get the morning sun on my raw face because at that point I haven't put my sunscreen on. I haven't done any of the things. I just like walk out in my jammies. So I needed a sun hat and I wanted one that was a big, huge brim. And I wanted one that I could lean against my chair and not have it like ugh, all in my way. So I went and got myself a visor and I love this one in particular because, okay, so it's Velcro and I'm going to try it on because it's actually like, I know it sounds goofy, but it's pretty cute. There's an adjustable strap here. Okay. So you can adjust it to like really fit your head. This one in particular, I thought was really cute because it had the bow in the back. So I thought that was fun. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Again, I got it on Amazon. I think it was like 14 bucks. It has a protective coating over it, so it'll protect your skin from UV rays. Now, do I trust that? No, but it's better than nothing. And I then throughout the day, I put sunscreen on. Well, I've been like addicted to this thing and I wish I had a rubber band because, hold on, my girls are sitting over here being my IT. Let me have this. Okay, I wanna show you guys, it's actually pretty cute. So what I do is I put my hair up like this in a little pony or a little like messy bun. And then I put this on. And I know it's weird, but, but I'm sharing this with you, but at least your skin's protected. And for 14 bucks, I felt like, yes. So I am able to sit back and lean. I've been using it gardening. I've been using it. I swear I'm like a 90 year old woman, but you know what? It's actually pretty cute, I think. And I really love it. And what I love about it a lot is that the brim really covers my face. So I'll put my sunglasses on and this, and I feel really super protected. And then what I love about it too, is that, so you can unvelcro it and then it's one of those ones you can package. So you just roll it on up and you pack it like this. So if you're going on vacation and stuff, I feel like that's such a win. And we travel a lot for horse shows, so I love that. So anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys and I'll share the link with you again on that one because again, it was like 14 bucks, comes in a bunch of different colors and you're protecting your, your, your skin from the sun. So whoever the company that is, you are welcome. I don't get paid for any of those things. I just wanna share it with you guys. Now, the other thing that I wanna talk about um, is sunscreen for your face and beauty counter this week did come out with a sunscreen for your face. Now, like I shared with you about the foundation last time, I didn't get it yet because we weren't able to do a pre-sale of the foundation, uh, I'm sorry, of the sunscreen. So I ordered it. I didn't get it yet, but I will next time I will give you my review on it. It's supposed to be from the girls that I got it. It's supposed to be amazing because it's something you will wear under your makeup. So we have the dew skin and we have things, but this is going to be a little bit more of like a heavier, it's a 25 SPF. It's also for your UVB and also for your blue light. So your computer light, which I found, found really interesting because I didn't even think of that. Honestly, I know I saw some, I bought cute blue light glasses just because they were like trendy, but I didn't really realize the damage that it could actually do to your skin. So I thought that's interesting. So I will give you my review on the sunscreen, the next one that we do of these, because I, you know, I don't want to tell you that it's awesome and it's really not. So, um, but the reviews on it have been fabulous. And what I love about it also is that it doesn't damage coral reefs. So if you're going on vacation now, like Hawaii, you, that there's only certain sunscreens you can use there because they don't want the coral reefs damaged. So I thought, I think that's pretty awesome. So I will let you know what I feel about that. All right, next up. Oh, well, I guess I'll go into this because last time I was going to give you my review of the new foundation. And I was telling you, I was a little worried about it because I really liked the existing foundation that beauty counter already had. And I was like, Ugh, I hate change. So I was like, Ugh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to really like it. 
So I, I ordered a bunch of colors because, you know, at the store we'll color match or whatever. I also have coming. They didn't arrive yet, but probably, um, I think the tracking said um, uh, Monday. So hopefully by Monday I'll be able to give you little samples of this. So if you want it, make sure you comment or DM me so that um, somebody asked me what a DM was the other day. But they're like, you always say DM. It means direct message. So just direct message me on either Facebook or Instagram and I can um, make sure that I get you those samples. But, so this is what the foundation looks like. And I'm going to tell you right off the thing that is, I love that it's in glass and I love it that it's a this pumper instead of the tube. The old one was a tube and I'm not always the most organized and it would get all over my makeup um, thing my makeup like holder because I would throw it in there and not put the top on correctly, whatever. So I do love that it comes like this because it's super clean and it's very pretty. And I love that it's glass because it's a little, it's recyclable or more sustainable. So this is what it looks like. I am color medium 350, which is a lot darker than I typically am. So I will say that about my review is some people are saying it's lighter, but I don't think so. I think go a little shade darker so it'll say if you were a previous customer and say you were sand it'll tell you what number that is I don't have them all memorized but it'll say right on the website I would go like maybe one shade darker the other improvements I have found with it is that there's now 18 colors before I think there were six or eight um, so there's so much um, to choose from blessing and curse I've been studying it so hard because I want to make sure I'm color matching people to perfection which I know is shocking, but you know how I am. I wanna make sure it's like perfect and right on the money. So before you buy this, I want you to talk to me because I wanna make sure I have some apps and some things that are cus that are consultant only that I can really make sure that your color matched perfectly. Um, at least let's talk because I feel like I can help you. Um, but with all that being said, what I love about it is that there's hyaluronic acid in it. Now. If you don't know about that, it is a awesome thing because what it does is it, it really plumps the skin. It holds the moisture. It's awesome. So I love that improvement. It's almost more like a skincare product than it is makeup. So I love that. The other thing I love about it is that I feel as though there's a little less transfer. Before, I felt like there was a little bit of a transfer if I didn't put like a loose powder. I like the mattifying powder. I think I shared that last week. But I love the mattifying powder and I felt like there was a bit of a transfer like on my phone and things like that. I'm not getting that with this one. And the other thing, I think it just gives me a little bit more of a dewy finish. I don't know if you got, I have it on tonight. So I don't know if you can see that, but it just gives me just a little bit more of a glow, I think. Um, so I do love that. And I do think it wears through the day a little bit longer. Um, and I don't, I, I th see, I loved the other one too, but I do think just a little bit longer it wears through the day. Um, not that I was really reapplying my foundation, but say I was going out for drinks after work, I would feel like I would want to. Now I feel like I don't need to. So that's how I, that's how I judge it. I don't know. If you're good for happy hour, then you should be good, right? So I love this. Let me help you color match it though, because there's 18 colors and I feel like I've been like really dedicated to learning it, um, to make sure that everybody is feeling really super matched. So that would be my thing. Um, side note, it is now in, um, the flawless in five. So that's those six products that you can do in five minutes. The reason why I mention it is because you can save a little money doing it that way. So if you do your flawless in five, Yes, granted, you're getting more products, um, so maybe you don't need them, but if you do need them or you're ready to switch to Safer Beauty, then that's the way to go because you're gonna save the most money. It's a little less on each thing. And you'll get uh, the concealer pen, a bronzer, blush, mascara, um, and a lip gloss. So it's kind of worth it. All right, so that's what I will say about this. Hit me up if you need samples because they're coming. So that's gonna be so nice because I can even pop, pop those in the mail for the people that are a little further away. Um, I can pop those in the mail um, and you can be able to, it, on the little card, you'll be able to have like four or five different ones to be able to try. Um, and I will say, I'm sorry, this is a little long-winded about foundation, but I will say if you do that and you get the, um, 
sample card. The best way to try it is on your clean skin and just put a stripe of each one on your cheek and then let them dry. Foundation always changes color when it's dry. So you don't, it'll, you know, maybe match when you post it on your cheek and then change. It's kind of like paint, you know? So you want to make sure that when it's dry and you go like this and sort of gently rub it, it disappears into your skin. That's the most important thing, okay? You wanna make sure that it kind of just kind of fades into the skin. Um, all right, so that's what I'm gonna say about the foundation. Now, let me see what else I wrote here. I took notes, aren't you guys proud of me? I wanted to make sure I got it up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk about nails. Dazzle dry. I know things are starting to open up right now, but I like to get my nails done and I am talk with my hands so much and I'm on social media. And anyways, I just feel like there's something really like ugh, awesome about getting your nails done. And I don't know, it's kind of like um, legally blind when she goes and gets a manicure. That's how I feel. Like I like it. I like the process of going to get my nails done. Now, I've been struggling with my nails for years and that's because my nails are typically really, really thin. And so I have been really, really struggling with them. But I have three daughters who love to get their nails done and it costs me a fortune when I go to get them done. It's only on special occasions that we go and all get our nails and all get our toes done because it's expensive. I usually do it for Valentine's Day for sure. But what I wanted to talk to you about is the nails um, that the nail polish system, it's sort of a system that I got and it's called Dazzle Dry. Now, Dazzle Dry, the thing, like I typically get gel polish on my toes and on my nails because I like it to last, okay? Now, I also have done it for my girls. The thing with that is, is the UVA and the UVB rays are right on your hands, right? Or if that, the formaldehyde, the smell of those things, and the, um, what else, I wrote down. There's three things that you should really look for in your nail polishes that should not be there, okay? There's more, but these are the top three. There's something called DBP. So make sure you're looking for that. It can cause hormone, hormonal disruption. It can lead to infertility. It can lead to cancer-causing um, properties. It's, it's a really strong thing. Okay. Formaldehyde. The fact that that's still out in our nail, nail polish is frightening, but it is, that's how it is. And so you have to make sure that that is not in your nail polish because it can absorb into your bloodstreams, right? So you don't want those things. It can lead to cancer causing things. So it helps, especially if you're a real nail polish girl, that you always have nail polish in your fingers. Make sure that you look at the ingredients, okay? And the other thing, and I think it's called, pronounced Tulum, T-O-L-U-N-E, I'm not 100% sure. But when I was doing some research, and I knew that there were things in there that you should look, but I, I couldn't remember. I just was like, I'm switching to saver. I can't remember all that. But that is one of the things that you should really try to avoid, okay? So those things are not in these products and I love it. It's a safer, it's a safer nail polish. Basically there's one for kids and I have not tried it, but I have heard phenomenal reviews for it and it washes off in the bathtub. If you want it to, it's called piggy paint. Um, and so if you have grandbabies or little ones, um, that might be something that you want to say, Hey, I bought this, bought this for them. Now my girls use this dazzle dry with me and what I love about it, because what I love about gel is I hate waiting till it dries because you know, with kids, they're going to sponge. And with me, it's going to sponge probably too. And I hate waiting. This literally, literally dries. I'm going to say it in about three minutes, three to five minutes and you're good to go. Truly. Now there's a step. So the first step is step one is the nail prep. It's the nail primer and nail strengthener. And I just, and I, it's like a, you know, like a pushy. And I put my cotton velvet on there and I rub it on my nails. It really does has strengthened my nails. I had kind of like that indentation from, I had tips on and I had that indentation. It has completely grown out and my nails are so much stronger because of it. Now, the number two bottle, my daughter Grace was walking and out here and she dropped it and it broke. Good times. So I do not have the number two step, but the number two step is like your base coat. And what I will tell you with that, it, when you get it, 
it's sort of um it's like cre creamy colored you have to warm it up so you stick it in like a little jar of hot water and it kind of warms up and then you put it on as your base coat and so that's step two step three is the actual polish color i'll show you some of the ones that i have um okay so this is the one i'm wearing right now this one's watermelon so that's really fun and pretty this is a little bit lighter. I would say this is kind of like bubblegum pink, but it's called cotton candy. So I like those kind of colors. Um, this is a fabulous, if you like reddish orangey colors, this is a good one. This one's called Red Hot Chili. So I love, love this one. And then I bought this one. Mm, I don't love it. It's called, I wanted like a neutral. It's called Smitten. It's got a little gray tinge to it. So I was, I, unless you're really after that, I didn't love this one. I need to get a new neutral because I wasn't crazy about this one. Um, just, I didn't like that look, but it wasn't pinky enough for my, for my basic one. But what you do is then you, you let that base coat dry and literally it'll probably dry in three minutes. Then you put the color, I put two coats and I let them dry in between again, three minutes and they're dry literally dry and then you have this which is the top coat and then i put that on and it, it when it dries with just the nail polish it's going to look matte um don't be scared because then that's what the top coat for so i i don't know again not repping them or anything i'm just telling you what works for us until we can get back safely into our nail salons i know every it doesn't beat a nail it doesn't beat a great manicure and pedicure i'm not going to say that it does that because i can't paint them as like crisp and perfect and my nails are shaped and all that but at least there's color on my nails and I feel a little bit better about that and if I'm in a pinch or I want to do it with my kids and not spend all that money that's a great way to do it the, the bottles of nail polish are a little pricey um, I'm gonna say $16 a bottle maybe but I do find that they last really really long because the manicure that you do you I get for me this is crazy I get a good seven to ten days out of it so that's incredible. So keep that in mind. Okay. Are there any questions? I'm kind of, I haven't been doing all of that. Um, where can we buy the dazzle dry? You have to go on their website. That's the only place I've seen it. Um, is dazzle dry. You can get that right on their website. And then that's the one other thing. That's why I mentioned the colors is it's hard to really know when you're buying colors from there, but what I do like is if you go on your Instagram or Facebook and you tap in hashtag or an Instagram, if you do hashtag dazzle dry, you'll see 1 million colors of people that post their nails and you'll get a good feel of what you like. So that is that. All right. The next tip I have for you is like we're going back to inside. So we talked about collagen. I'm going to talk about this. Now I'm going to mix this up before I, this is my green juice, you guys. I'm addicted. It's like a real problem. Okay. I guess there's, I suppose there could be worse things I'm addicted to. This is called green glow. We have a little local place here. I'm sure all of you have like a juicery near you and it's called green glow. It's, um, cold pressed juice. And I am telling you, I notice a difference in myself if I drink one of these during the day. And I, it's like, I don't know if it's mind over matter, but I am telling you there's so so good for you and it's really making my skin grow and glow not grow glow but i wanted to read to you what was in it because maybe you can make a smoothie at home with those items i'm going to try that this week i know wreath witherspoon if you go on her instagram she has a really really good um green smoothie so i'm going to be trying that because her she's awfully cute so i figured she must know what's going on so but what's in there are cucumber. What is in there? What is in there is cucumber, celery, spinach, green apple, lime, and ginger. I also, if I don't get it already pre-purchased, pot like a, I get a couple of these and stick them in my refrigerator. But if I go in there, I get aloe added to it as well because I think that that's really good for your skin as well. So, anyways, I am telling you. But my point is, is get those greens in your body. If you're not a big salad eater and you're not a big vegetable eater, or you always are cooking your vegetables, make sure that you're getting those greens in. Because for me, that's hard to eat as many greens as I need to really see the difference in my body. And I'm finding this to be a really great way to do it. So I know you probably all, I love Cornerstone. They're always at the farmer's market and she brings some um, there. 
and also they have a little place in East Aurora that you can do online pickups, which I'm still kind of right there where I'm doing like online pickups um, instead of going out to eat yet. But um, it's really, really great. So that might be something that you want to check out because I'm finding it to be really, really hydrating for my skin. And I'm finding that my gut health is better. I'm finding that I have more energy. Um, so something to consider. So, and the next thing I'm going to try is kombucha. So if anybody knows anything about that, educate me because I don't know a ton about it, but apparently it's supposed to be very, very good for your tummy. So let me know about that. All right. I am seeing a few questions. I want to just make sure I think Gracie is doing that. Do you, do you get 70 tens even doing a lot with your hands? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm a mother of four. Are you kidding me? I'm like, yeah. I'm hard on my hands. I really, really feel like I do. And for me, what I had the problem with, and I've gone to 1 million people, so please don't tell me it's like, oh, where you go. It's not. It's me. It's me. I'm the issue. I'm the problem. But I'll get like um, gel nails that like peel off like day three. Like, like it doesn't last on me. This has been lasting. So I will tell you, the Dazzle Dry, little investment, I'm not going to lie, little on the pricey side. And I don't love that I don't have like the fingernails with the colors and I'm like, oh yeah. Mm -mm. So that's tough, but that's my answer to the question. Yeah, truly I do. And my girls do too. So, all right. Green glow. I'm telling you, it's going to make you feel healthy. It's going to make you feel a little bit better. All right. The last thing I want to talk about tonight, cause I want, oh no, two more. Sorry. I lied. Two more. All right. I want to show you this. <laughs> okay. This is, hold, can we take one little sip of our wines? Okay. This is my one of my favorite beauty counter products, makeup-wise. I wanted to show you a little bit of makeup because we talked a lot about skincare, and I'm a makeup girl. And now I guess we're going to be able to start going out, so I think that's going to be really fun that we can apply makeup again. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Classic Palette by Beauty Counter. Look at those colors. Aren't they pretty? It comes in this. It has this removable mirror, which I really happen to like. And underneath it says, no secrets added. Just saying. Make sure you're using healthy products for your body. Okay. What I love about this is that I use it in a lot of different ways. And that's always great. So I want to apply them a little bit to you because I want to show you what I do. First, I recommend these two brushes. Okay. If you, hopefully you have a couple different ones, but this one is the, like a flat eyeshadow brush. Mine is a little bit dirty because we did 80s um, theme this week on our Wednesday Night Live and I did blue eyeshadow. But at least you can see what I'm talking about. It's flat like this. It's very, very soft, okay, and non-toxic, of course. So what I, I start with this brush and what I do with it is I start with a neutral color color all over my entire lid okay so from my brow bone you can see because I did it so it's from my brow bone down to my lash line so I use for that I use suede you're gonna want to use the one that's you want to use a matte so there's some of them here that have sparkle and some that have no sparkles but this one is suede up here in the top corner and I do that from my crease on down to my lash line, okay? Then what I do is I come back in with ivory, which is this one. Now, this is the most beautiful color. I use it along my brow bone. You can kind of see it's a little bit lighter. I also highlight with it. When I'm all done with my makeup, and I'm gonna show you a little bit how I do that, so we'll come back to it. But I, um, I do that along the eyebrow. And the reason why you do that is the same way that I taught you guys last week, last time about how to lift your brow so it lifts your face. You're going to do that because you really want to pop that brow, okay? And really, really lift the eyes as much as you can. Then is where the fun part comes. Then after I do that, I use that same brush for both. Then I use this brush. And this one is kind of like, it's, I call it my round brush because it's perfectly domed at the top. And it has like a nice feel to it. And what I like about that is that I use it as my crease brush. And like I'll bring it a little bit down underneath my eyes as well. But it doesn't make it um, 
like a severe line. It really, really blends as you go. So that's why I really like this one. And this switches for me all the time. So I will show you how I do my crease. We're gonna get like up close and personal. But I did, tonight I did um, a little bit of sienna, but I'm gonna do this burnished color, this one, so that you can really see it um, on my eyes. Okay, so I just tap it into my, tap it in, tap, tap. And then I tap it over like this. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one cause I'm right handed so I'm not, so you can really see. All right, so here we go. I go into that crease. I don't go all the way over. I don't go all the way into my eye, into the corner of my eye. I st stop a little bit past half. And this is that dark color, the dark highlighting color, okay? So I do it like this. And then I also bring it down into my lower lashes because I don't, I like it to, to carry through. I think it's more um, a softer blend then. So this color is really, really pretty. The other color, I don't want you to be scared of the center color. I know it looks wild, but I wanna try it on for you, okay? I don't do a brush for that because I don't like all the little sparkles all over my brushes. So I use my pinky finger, I rub it in. This one's called Penny. Rub it in. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll do it on this one again. This is hard to do when I'm like looking at you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna rub it on top of that. So for like a night out, if I'm going from work, who are you kidding? I wear this stuff, I wear this to work. If you come in and you see me. Look at how pretty that is, I hope you guys can see. But you can really see then, it just brightens the eye. It's not like crazy sparkly. It's just like a fun sparkle. So now I want to show you how I use the ivory. Um, I'm probably going to get like blue on my, let me rub this on my hand. Okay. This ivory color, what I do with this is first, like I said, I do under my eyebrow, but I also highlight the tops of my cheeks with it. So you can kind of see that. And then I rub it in. So if you're looking again, if I'm going from day to evening, I love that. And I just kind of top highlight those, like the tops of my cheeks. You can kind of see that. I also do the very tip of my nose like that. Cause it kind of just gives us a lot, but I kind of, then I just kind of have like that little bit of a glow. And then I do the Cupid's bow. Because what that does is then once you put your lipstick on, it really makes your lips look a little fuller. So I do here with the ivory, here with the ivory, on my Cupid's bow, and on the very tip of my nose with that. So those are just some of my tips with that. And I feel like don't be scared of using all of these colors because even though I almost always start with suede on my whole eye so that my eyelids carry a little bit of purple, so I want to even that color out. And then I do the ivory always, almost always here. Then I have fun with the other colors in the palette. So don't be scared. You know, they're really, really beautiful. So I wanted to talk about that because I feel like I, I feel like I drive people to this one more probably. I look a little crazy with one done and one not, but that's okay. At least you get the thing. All right. I wish I had no makeup on and I thought of this after I did my makeup, but I want to show you last thing is these three items. Okay, I've been like living and dying of these. Now you're gonna be nervous. Trust me. You're gonna be nervous, but trust me. Okay, in the summer, especially with this new foundation, I feel like the coverage is really beautiful. So I'm covering less of my skin. And I typically in the summer like a little bit more of a dewy finish on my skin. I have been using these. This is, I forget exactly what theirs are called, but the, what, they're sticks, they're cream blushers, okay? There's the Bronze Glow, which is this one, okay? And then there's this very, very pretty pinky color. This is called the Rose Glow. I think they're called, in the website, I think they're called the Highlighting Trio. You know, you can buy individual ones, but I'm pretty sure that's, if you type in highlighter, I'm pretty sure. Grace, is that right? She's looking it up for me. Sorry, I should have written it down. But this is this one, the rose one. And then this one is called Pearl Glow. And I use that as a highlighter. Okay, so what I do with these is cream blushers I know are a little different than what you're normal. But the bronze one, and look at mine is almost all out. Okay, I go under my cheeks with this. 
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more so you can see. So I go under my cheeks and then I just kind of blend it in and it gives a very, very natural bronzy look. So I go under my cheeks. We were talking about a contour. I had a couple questions about that. I do contour, but I do it strategically so that I don't look like angular. Um, I go under my cheekbone with this bronzer. I go along my jawline with the bronzer and I go a little bit up into the corners of my, um, my hairline because I feel like my, my forehead is a little bit longer than, mo than more people. So I want to bring it down a little bit. And so my face is more balanced. So that is beautiful. You guys, it just kind of rubs in and gives you such a pretty sheen to your skin. Not gooey looking at all. Then the next one I do, so I do that on both sides. Then the next one I do is the rose glow. glow. Now this I put on my elbows and my cheeks. And in the morning, like say I just, I don't wanna do eyeshadow that day, I put this on my eyes as well. But you can see like that's without rubbing it in. And then I just kinda buff it into my skin. And it just gives such a pretty glow and I just love it. Do you see how like, it just kind of like, it gives you a little pink to your cheeks without it looking, without it looking like um, too much, too and too chalky for the summer. Um, and then the very last thing I use is this one and this is called Pearl, Pearl Glow. Okay, now I'm thinking Facebook might be having an issue. So we'll have to just take a look at that. With the Pearl Glow one, I do at the t at the tops of my cheeks, and it just kind of blends in like that. So I'll put this one here, tops of your cheeks, and I'll do a strip of it down my center of my nose as well, so you can kind of see what that one looks like as, as well. I tell you what, don't be scared of these stick things. And what are they called, Gracie? Do you have it? Uh, yeah, it's called the uh, Illuminating Cream Highlighter. Illuminating cream, illuminating cream highlighters is what they're called. And like I said, you can get them in all, you can get all three under that banner. So it'll just be like a drop down thing. Um, but I'm telling you, don't be scared of cream blushers because they really, really give you that look for summertime without looking oily. You don't want to look oily, but you want to look um, dewy, I think. Um, so I like that look a little bit more. All right, that's it for this. I want to respect your time. I don't want to be on here too long. If you need questions, if you have questions, you know you're going to DM me because I'm going to be able to help you best that way. Um, you can always, um, I'll probably, from that DM, I'll probably give you my cell phone because I'm better with that than going on Facebook and, or Instagram. So um, I'm sorry, Facebook, that we're having some technical difficulties. But maybe, Grace, you can uh, just reply on there. Um, but... Uh, Oh, I hate that I don't get to say goodbye. Um, I'm getting a question on Facebook or how much are the brushes? Would you mind looking that up, sweetheart? The eyeshadow ones? The two eyeshadow ones that I was talking about. Those are great brushes. And I'm going to give Facebook just a minute here because I want to get back on. Um, it's best if I talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, even if you have skincare questions or, th or, or whatnot, because then I can really guide you about what's best. And I don't want you to feel weird asking me for samples. I have the samples. I'm happy to ship them to you. I'm happy to mail them to you. I just restocked. I know a couple of you were waiting a little bit longer on me, but that was because I was out of them. So I just restocked and I have them all in except for counter, uh, which one? Counter match. But that's coming in the next few days and the foundation is coming in the next few days. So all you need to do is just ask. I'm happy to give them to you. Um, there's no charge or anything for those. And what sweetness? Okay, so for the both of I have shadow brushes, they're both twenty five, or you can get the set for ninety eight. Okay, so twenty five dollars for the brush, but I will tell you um, that you're going to have them for quite some time, so that's really really important. Um, and I do feel like um, how I clean my brushes. Just side tip, um, I've tried a couple different things. I used to clean my brushes with shampoo. But I'm finding that that doesn't work quite as much. What's going on? We don't have Facebook yet again. Aww. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, Facebook. Um, I like to clean my brushes with the charcoal bar. Beauty Counter has a charcoal bar. It's not very expensive. I cut mine in half. And that's I leave it in my shower. 
which I don't think you're supposed to do with charcoal bars. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be in there, but that's what I do because then I just take all of my brushes, my makeup brushes in with me and I wash them all at once in there because I just feel I hate the mess in my sink. So I know I've gotten that question a little bit about how to do that. Is there any other questions on there? Let me see. I'm trying to read here. Oh, and I can only do Instagram. Yes, it is the classic color. You must be on the website. It's the classic palette. So you'll be able to see that. All right, you guys. I hope that you have. We're going to be doing um, beauty tips and tricks. We're going to do it every other Friday. Um, so I will see you. Oh, I think we might be back on. Let me see. Hold on. Isn't it always something? With it, I tell you, with with uh, I'm I'm not lucky with my with my stuff. All right, are we back on? Oh, there we go. All right, Facebook. I know you're probably wondering what happened. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm not techie. I don't know. But what I was saying is that I clean my brushes with the charcoal bar and how I do it. Um, cause the charcoal bar is great. The only thing, and some people swear by it, like wash your face with the charcoal bar. The only thing is, is I do find it to be just a little messy. Same with the charcoal mask actually, but the charcoal mask I'm like obsessed with. Um, so I just keep that charcoal bar in my shower and I just rub my brushes on it and that's how I clean them. And I had a question about how much were the brushes and those were each $25. So I can't see any of the other comments from the last time, but hopefully you guys join back in. All right. If you have any other questions or you need the links for any of those Amazon things, you let me know. And I hope you have a good evening and we'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.